Hi, Mary. Got to groceries. You know, I've been doing groceries with you for quite a while. And it's harder and harder for you to get around. Maybe I should just, you should just stay home and I'll do the grocery shopping for you. Okay, that's a, a really great idea, Jennifer. Uh, how about I give you my credit card and my password? And uh, you can keep it with you and you'll have it when I need something and I'll give you a call on the phone. How's that? Sure, that then would you, be... Then you can... We can do it all. I can do can it all do for you. We can do it over the telephone. Yes, we How's could. That? that would be great. Okay. Okay. Sounds good to me. Okay, there's my credit card. Okay. Just hang on a minute here. There. That's your password. That's my password. Thank you, Mary. You're a good friend. Thank you. So, what are you going to do this weekend? This weekend? I don't know. I might hang around and play a little bridge today. Here's How about you, little Kathy? Yeah, me How too. How about you? Thank okay. you, Rose. Good kid. Oh, my, Carol, this is my bank account. What happened to my bank account? Somebody's taken all my money. I can't afford to pay my bills. And what's going to happen if I have to talk to Jennifer? What Will she get mad? And what's my family going to say? Mary, you have to talk to a family member that you trust. Tell them what has happened. Phone the bank. You have to call the bank. And you call the RCMP at 911 and the Family Violence Hotline. Also, I have a list of numbers here so that you don't have to be searching through the book. Mary, there. You Thank must you. call for help. You must let someone know. Okay.